Welcome back to another video guys. Today I'm trying something new I haven't done before and I'm really excited. I think if you guys have seen the rage going around on the internet about these devices or cans that you can put in your interior and it will basically refresh it and bring it back to life. What I'm talking about is the Meguiar's Air Refresher. I'm definitely not the first one to make a video on this but I've seen it happen and I've seen it work so many times that I wanted to see what it would do to the Prelude. It's a 30 year old car and again given this will work for any car whether you have a 30 year old Prelude or a somewhat new F30 that just kind of stinks a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and basically get the Prelude ready. I know there's a couple things you have to do which I'll you know read the directions and make sure I'm doing this right but it's really easy and it's supposed to make everything smell so much better and not just like mask it but really kind of delete the odors if that's the best word to use but I'm really excited to see what it does on the prelude. It says first step is remove any of the bad smells or sources of the bad smells I guess if you have some nasty food or whatever is causing the smell. For my scenario it's just an older car needs a refresher. Step two is recycle so with your car's fan on high and the air recycling turned on the odor eliminator mist will be moved throughout the cabin and the ventilation ducting so basically it goes throughout the entire interior. Lastly simply engage the can's locking trigger and close the doors let the air air refresher go to work for approximately 15 minutes then open the doors and let it air out for 10 to 15 minutes definitely doesn't get much easier than that so this is probably the easiest interior mod that I've ever done or mod or cleaning product or whatever you want to call it I will have a link down below in the description so if you guys want to do it like I said on your old car on your new car it's just gonna basically give it a new refresher and you can get like the new car smell you can get summer breeze I think was another one so whatever you're going for make it happen. Let's go ahead and take this thing out. See if I can do this with one hand. It's always, oh, that wasn't too hard. I was going to say, it's always a challenge doing things with a camera in your hand, but that's it. That's the whole thing. And if we pop that off, there it is. Pretty simple. I've tried a number of things in this car and there's just like, it's an old car. So it has humidity problems. Like all the seals, all the rubber around here isn't too great anymore. And so it lets moisture in. Basically, what I've been doing to remedy that is using one of these. It's a moisture pack eliminator thing. And uh, yeah, it's it's actually been doing great of getting rid of the moisture and the humidity in here. But as far as the smell goes, not really helping. That's another tip. If you guys have any humidity problems in your interior, just pick up one of these. They're like four bucks. I'm sure I'll have a link down below to that as well. And again, it just helps keep a lot of the humidity out and it pulls it into that container so it's not sitting in your seats, in your carpets, in your headliner, and all the places you don't want moisture sitting. To get this started, we'll hop in the car. You guys, a quick update. You guys haven't seen the Prelude in a while, but it hasn't changed a whole lot. Start the car, put the key in the ignition. See if we can get her to start up. She's been having a lot of issues lately, but give it a shot. Nice. Cool, right up. So I'm reading this now and it says, start the vehicle with the fan set on high circulated cold air and close all the windows. Well, my AC doesn't work. It blows absolutely no cold air because I'm on that old system. It's not the new, what is it like R32 freezing or something like that. I'm on the old system and it's cost a ton of money to uh, refill it because it has to be done by an authorized dealer. So if you guys know anything about that swapped going to the newer system of AC, let me know. But I think it'll be fine for this purpose. I mean, air's air, it's gonna be blowing and recirculating, so it should be fine. Next, it says with the uh, air refresher nozzle facing away from you, activate its locking trigger and then place it in the center of the car. Close all the doors for 15 minutes. So I guess as soon as I engage this and lock it, it's gonna go for 15 minutes. This is all the way down. I will put the AC on for what it's worth. And then I'm just gonna basically set it to like that one. It's already on recircling or recycling. So if you guys aren't sure, just do the one that has the recycling arrow, not the one that's bringing in new air into the car. So I guess this is it. I'm just gonna set this thing off, hop out of the car and wait 15 minutes. Sick, I can't wait to do this. Uh, I guess I should find a spot. I think, I think I'm just gonna put it like right here. Well, you can't see it. I think I'm just gonna put it right here. That seems like a good, fairly even spot where it's not gonna move. Oh, oh, no kidding. <coughs> it's in my mouth. <coughs> yep, it's going to work. Shut that for 15 minutes. I can literally smell this outside of the car. It is so potent. Holy cow, I, it smells awesome though. It's, I did the new car scent and it smells really good. So hopefully the entire Prelude will smell like this. I guess maybe even the outside of the Prelude will smell like this when it's done. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm still in the car. It smells so much. It kind of doesn't look like it's spraying anymore. 
I'm not really sure. Maybe it came undone. Nope, still spraying. Never mind. So just be patient, I guess. I think the can is small, so it runs out pretty quickly. And the main focus is to have the air recycling. So that way it's, even after the can's depleted, it's still recycling all that fresh air or smelly fresh air, whatever, through the car and the interior. Here is another quick look at it. So again, I did the new car scent and it's the Meguiar's whole car air refresher, odor eliminating mist, permanent odor elimination. So again, I will have this link down below. It'll be the first link in the description. Scoop that up. They're pretty cheap. And if it works as well as everybody says, I think it's well worth the couple dollars that it costs to actually do this. So I'm hyped. Some changes may be coming to the Prelude. I'm still trying to figure out what to do with this paint. Would you guys like to see me wrap it, paint it, sand it all down and start from scratch? I'm kind of leaning towards wrapping it just because besides this panel here where I could probably do it in multiple pieces, but if you guys look, this piece all the way up and over onto the other side is all one piece. So that's really the only hard part. Outside of that, I think wrapping this car would be pretty easy just because most of the body is pretty boxy and square. But let me know, what do you guys think would be the best option for this thing? I also want to maybe change out the exhaust. So hopefully it's not too loud and you guys can hear me okay. But right now it's a little loud. And uh, if this car and this motor sounded a little bit better and was maybe boosted, then I think I would like the louder exhaust. But with it being a daily, with it being a carved slow motor and you know, it is what it is. I think I want to put something a little bit more stylish. Don't really care for the bazooka looking thing anymore. And I would maybe just do like one or two pipes just coming straight out, but maybe add like a muffler or I don't know, maybe a resonator somewhere up in the middle of the exhaust cap back. So that way it quiets, quiets it down a little bit. So it's been just about five and a half minutes. So I can still smell it outside of the car. It reeks like new car scent. We got about 10 more minutes in this thing. Another thing I wanted to mention is I believe by now, the time you're watching this video, the banners, the windshield banners, and I don't have one yet on the Prelude. I still have to uh, figure out what I'm gonna do with this. But the banner that you guys saw on the F30 and so many of you people asked, you people, sorry. And so many of you guys asked about them being available for purchase. They're gonna be on the website. Hopefully by the time this video is live, you can head to elevatedmediamerch.com and you can pick up a banner and rock the elevated media banner either on the windshield, I mean, wherever you want, you put it where you want. In fact, I'd love to see where you guys decide to put it because there's a couple different options I was varying between, but let me know where you guys decide to put them. But most importantly, head to the website and pick up a banner. This is actually a pretty dope spot for pictures. Like all in all, don't, you know, ignore the little box there, but I think this is a really sweet place for pictures. It's just on this big rock wall backdrop, but I'm actually up at the outlets right now, just about to do some shopping before I go down to Florida this weekend. Figured I might as well do a mod while I'm at it. Since I'm impatient, I'm just gonna go ahead and get some cinematics while we're waiting. And you guys can enjoy it because I know you appreciate the cinematics, so enjoy it. dude right here driving away just stopped in because he saw the prelude looking all stancy and stuff he was just asking what's done to it what have i put into the motor and all this stuff and i was just saying how slow it is being carved and whatnot but it's cool it's really nice he was saying that he has a mustang gt supercharged so it's like totally other side of the spectrum as far as builds go always very cool and humbling to see guys that appreciate other types of builds and he was actually saying he wants to pick up a little four cylinder and i just said just make sure it's boosted because the non-boosted four cylinders are cool but boost is life you know got about two minutes left i was just rereading these instructions and if you look down at the bottom it says tip now is a good time to wash the outside of your car and yeah that's very true you got 15 minutes to just wait here while this thing does its thing i definitely enjoy when companies kind of make funny stuff on their boxing and their their boxing their boxes their branding their packaging just adding little funny stuff that Otherwise, you would probably just think it was like a warning, but no, just giving you a little tip, clean the outside of your car. Once this is all done and the timer goes off, we're gonna open the door, shut the car off, and just let it air out so that way we're not inhaling this stuff. You wanna give it about, I don't know, like five, 10 minutes or so to let everything kind of dissipate so you're not inhaling the 
odor or whatever it is that's in that. I don't think you probably want that in your lungs. So shut the car off, open the doors, let it chill for a little bit. All right, timer just went off. Hop in here. Wow. It's hot, one, because my heat is blasting, but two, it is really nice smelling in here. So I'm gonna shut this down. I'm gonna shut this down. Sometimes the prelude does that. It like wants to stay on. And I'm gonna go ahead and open this other door and basically just let this air out because it is, I mean, my eyes are almost watering right now from that, but it does smell great. Definitely smells great. I wish you guys, I wish there was a way for technology to have you be able to smell. That would be so cool because you guys can hear things, see things, you can't smell things, or I guess you can't touch things either through video, but that'd be pretty cool. It does smell really great in here. And um, yeah, you guys can't tell at all from the video how it smells, but you get the picture. I guess you're just gonna have to trust me. It smells amazing. So head down to the link in the description, get that Amazon Prime working for you and uh, let me know what you guys think of it. I might pick an, I'm going to pick another one of these up for the F30. It doesn't smell bad, but if it's gonna make it smell like that, I'm definitely down. So yeah, I guess we'll get this a little bit more and then we'll kind of wrap things up and see how it smells. It's been about 10 minutes or so and I'm in the car, my eyes aren't watering, it's fine now. Um, and it smells great guys, honestly, I, I'm a big fan of like the black ice trees, but even if you open one of these up brand new, it's gonna be pretty much not smelling in a few days. So I guess time will tell with this. Hopefully it doesn't, you know, the smell doesn't just dissipate and the old kind of 30 year old car smell come back, but time will tell. So I'll make another video if this goes horribly wrong and the smell dissipates and it's not worth it. But as of right now, it's definitely worth it. This car has never smelled this good. And it really smells like I just drove off the lot in 1988 with this Prelude. It's pretty crazy. I just want to make this video. Like I said, I'm about to go do some shopping and I wanted to get this done before I did that and make a quick video for you guys. Show you this new cool little device. i would never tried this before and really happy I did. Well worth the money. So, so thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Comment down below what your thoughts are on it. If you guys have done this, if the results have worked for you and all that good stuff. And lastly, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Keep elevating guys and I'll see you next time. Peace.